So, good morning. Uh, my name is Tomás Horvat. I'm a medical doctor and ENT specialist from Bud Budapest, Hungary. And I'm here thanks to a healthcare-related social media contest organized by my fellow countryman, Dr. Bertalan Meskor, better known as Bersi on Twitter. You can find him here. Uh, and uh, now I have the possibility to tell my story, how I became a, let's say, e-doctor, how I built up a social media-based uh, online presence for our private practice called ENT House Budapest. So it's a kind of do-it-yourself story. And uh, in my case, being an e-doctor means that I work as a regular doctor, so I work full-time in a public hospital where I do mostly surgeries, middle ear surgery, sinus surgery, and nasal surgery. And uh, besides this, uh, as the co-founder of ENT House Budapest, I also work there as a medical doctor. But I'm also blogging and micro-blogging and uh, running a uh, Facebook fan page for uh, ENT House Budapest. And we also developed um, an online uh, booking appoint appointment booking system for our patients as well. As, and uh, I'm keeping contact with patients uh, and my colleagues mostly uh, through email. Uh, and I thought to, to tell my story by showing the new skills I had to develop on my way from regular medicine to become an e-doctor. So first of all, my basic skill is of course medicine. Uh, and the beginning of the story is tightly connected to, to an error in my medical skill because it was a very, very embarrassing situation when it all started. Uh, it was in 2005, so it was already uh, seven years ago where, when a young and uh, quite aggressive uh, young boy came to our outpatient department in the hospital where I was working at that time and he told me he has checked his symptoms on the internet and he's quite sure about his problem. He just wants to get some medications and uh, at that time I was still a very young doctor and uh, I didn't like his style at all so I got a bit upset and I thought these symptoms are not so clear at all. So I ordered some lab tests and consultations etc and finally of course he was right. So I, I felt very ashamed, but uh, that made me really curious about uh, the medical part of the internet in its depth. So I just wanted to, to, to be able to monitor the information uh, in my profession to, to uh, start to, to, to build up a kind of information input, input channel um, to gain the most possible news about otorhinolaryngology uh, as possible. So first of all, for this, I had to develop a kind of uh, technology skill from understanding RSS even to get some knowledge in HTML coding as well. And uh, during this process, I was hit by social media. I felt like, wow, there are so many medical blogs out there. There is Wikipedia, there are medical communities as well. There's social bookmarking, and I felt, you know, uh, I was just scratching the surface before knowing this, so like discovering that icebergs are much bigger underwater. And I decided to, to create a social media-based online presence for ENT House Budapest that was founded, founded in between in 2008. Because uh, being in social media uh, meant to me uh, to be authentic, uh, to be up to date, and uh, you can show what you are, what you know, what you can do, not more, but, but not even less. So I created a blog and a micro blog, uh, and I had to develop a second new skill, namely journalism. And uh, of course, I had to create a strategy about blogging, and I decided to, to write blog posts mainly based on uh, patient uh, educational blog posts. But a few months later, I realized two things. One was a bad news that there are already too many patient educational websites in Hungary with much better search engine ratings, so uh, I could not beat them. Uh, but the second one was a good news that more and more colleagues started to follow my blog, and I, I got many positive feedbacks from them. Even it helped uh, in some ENT specialization exams, which, were, which made me very happy. So I decided to to uh, change the focus of the blog from the patients to the doctors, 
and I started to write blog posts uh, mainly based on fresh articles of peer-reviewed ENT journals commenting on them. I also uh, received the Health on Net uh, certificate as well uh, and I started to write a kind of ENT newspaper for colleagues. Uh, but of course, I, I, th that's what I, I'm doing right now, but of course I, I try to avoid the unnecessary Latin expressions and I try to draw a lot to be understand, uh, understandable for patients as well if it's possible. Of course, of course it's not always possible, but I try to. And uh, one could expect an opposite effect, but changing the focus from patients to doctors led even to a, to a rise in patient traffic in ENT House Budapest, because patients not always understand totally uh, what I'm writing about, but they see that I, I'm trying to be up to date in my profession, and I'm, let's say, brave enough to, to write my opinion in public, so they rely on me. And uh, I'm always asked about numbers, uh, I can tell you at least 20% of my patients are coming due to my online work, but uh, this number is occasionally can be much higher. Besides, uh, let's say, regular blogging, I'm also micro-blogging on Twitter, and when I registered on Twitter, uh, I started to do it bilingual, both English and Hungarian language, but I soon uh, separated these two languages because Twitter penetration in Hungary is still very low, only the geeks are using Twitter, so I think there's no point to, to, to give an effort on it. So I focus on the English channel, which is working very well, it's a kind of hardcore ENT micro-blogging, uh, and I have around uh, 1,000 followers, and when you compare it with uh, 2,500 uh, tweets and uh, the 300 users uh, that I'm following, the ratio is quite okay, and I, I really enjoy it. That's the, let's say, international line of the presence of VNT House Budapest. Uh, and I have to mention here that I also tried posterior and friend feed microblogging uh, when beginning uh, um, the story, but uh, uh, because of uh, much redundancy, I, I abandoned these two channels. And we also have a delicious social bookmark, uh, which is quite passive because it works automatically, fed by my, my tweet tweets. Uh, so besides technology and journalism, there are two more skills at least for me, it, it, I wasn't able to, to avoid, uh, to deal with the two, the, these two skills, namely marketing and public relations. Uh, and I have to mention here Facebook because with its uh, 800 million users, I think it's an, it's an I ideal place for doctors to, to practice marketing and public relations. However, I have to improve myself in these two skills. But uh, uh, I already built up a kind of community based on doctors and colleagues and some ENT enthusiast patients uh, about our practice. And we have some recommendations on Twitter as well, uh, on Facebook, and uh, we have some patients coming due to my Facebook work. I don't know why, but they always find me on weekends. Uh, and I would like to, to show this picture that you can find on Bercy's uh, Science Row blog uh, originally. Uh, this is a top secret picture. Uh, the, this is uh, the simplified version of uh, the information process that I, I, I found out for myself because I, I always like to like to see how things are going. So the input is <laughs> from the RSS and Twitter and Facebook and after processing uh, the information goes to the blog or Twitter, etc. And just to to visualize uh, what I'm doing. These are the pictures of, of uh, the blog uh, and the Facebook fan page. Uh, so you can hear, see here that I, I like to draw. <laughs> However, I'm not a Picasso, of course. So uh, I have to finish my story soon, but I think it's one of the most important slides here because as I became a, let's say, e-doctor, uh, that led to a significant improvement in my regular medical skill as well, because uh, now I can say I'm up to date in my profession, and uh, when I'm writing a blog post, I always have to be sure what I'm writing about, so, so I have to look after things in books and articles again and again, and uh, I have many complex cases as well, because uh, since I, I write uh, uh, professional blog posts about uh, otorhinolaryngology, I cannot avoid to, to, to use some special keywords, and the patients who are searching for the problems with complex diseases, they always find me as the as first result on, on Google. 
So thank you for the attention.